Now that we've learned some basic animation in SketchUp, now it's time to start editing our styles. What I'm talking about with styles is this looks pretty good, but I want to start adjusting like what the actual car looks like to give it a little bit of flair. So if I go to Window and Styles again, I have Default Styles and it comes up as this one. You can kind of see some of the different styles that change here. But when it really gets into fun, some fun styles, we go to sketchy edges. And it looks like it's on a chalkboard. Or it looks like you drew it with some marker or sketched it out with some lines. There's some blue pen. Or some different sepia pens. Just lots of different design ideas. Um, there's a couple cool ones in here. So this one actually gives it some paper texture. And gives some ideas on what you're working with. And a lot of people like this one here. If you like a style and you want to keep a scene, a style on a scene, you could right click on it and hit update. Now when I go from this scene to this scene, it'll go to that new style as well. Scene 3 will change to the next style. So if you'd want to keep this style for all of them, you'd have to go to scene 3, click on the style, that you want, right click, update, all the way through. Okay, so that's how you can adjust your styles to start changing some of the looks. When you're in the style, like this one here, added my axes again. If I go to edit, I can adjust all of that stuff as well. So what I can see, model axes, uncheck it, update that style, and now I can't see those model axes in that one anymore. Okay? So, the other cool thing that we can do is we can add a picture. So let's say I'm at scene 7 here, and now I want to make the CO2 car race around a racetrack. So I'm going to add a picture and pictures under this OK and I'm gonna hit plus and on my desktop I should have saved one that said There should be one that says racetrack here, so I click on racetrack and hit open. And you can see that it puts a watermark behind. I want to set it as a background. Hit next. And image is how much it's faded in. Hit next. This one here. You can see what it does, tiling it, stretched, positioned. I want it stretched to fit the entire window. Hit finish, and now I have this in a background. Instead of updating the style here, I want to add it to a new style. So it says create a new style. So I'm gonna click on the create a new style button, and we're gonna call it Racetrack. Update that one. And now I have the racetrack available. So I have to turn my car around. And add a scene. Dip it a little bit so it's going on the track. Add a scene.
scan it now. And this is where orbiting gets a little bit tricky. And working with your zoom works is a little bit tricky as well. Right click, add scene. Let's see where we're at so far. So there's scene eight. There's scene nine to lay it down on the track. There's scene 10, it starts driving around the track. Right click, add, there's scene 11, 9, 10, 11. Now if I like 9, 10 really doesn't do much for me, and then 11 does more, I can update those scenes if I need to. I'm going to pause, I'm going to finish out this animation, and you can see what it would look like when it's done. Now I've wrapped up the rest of my scenes. You can see I got 19 scenes. I'm at scene 19 right now. Now I want to check it out to see what it's going to look like. So I'm going to go back to ortho printing. Right click on it. Play animation. There you can see a style change. It's going back to a regular style. Driving across the screen. The cake comes in. I did that in the styles menu. Goes around the cake. And you can't make it disappear, so it has to jump over that top there. And it's back to my regular style. To finish your animation, click there. Click on a scene and it stops animating. So again, window styles. You can also open up the scenes window and then that gives you your identifying scenes as well. So if I want to reorder something, I can click on a scene, I can click to move it up, move it down, add, subtract scenes that way as well but I like to do it just through right clicking here. The next video I'm going to show you how to export.